Diana Agron rocked a beautiful, sexy rocker look this year at the Grammys, and this is the look that I've created. Something inspired from that. I think it's really fun that you can wear on a night out in the town, or if you tone it down a bit, you can even wear this every day. So if you want to be a rocker chick today, don't go anywhere. Now Diana's makeup artist, Jillian Dempsey, used a tissue and held it up to get that straight line that you see here. I'm going to show you a cheap and easy trick. Take some scotch tape, and I've done this before so some of you guys know. Take a piece of that and apply it to the back of your hand because you don't want it too sticky, you don't want it to stick to your eye. So peel it off a couple times. And then you're going to place this at an angle like this, so that way it gives you that cat eye shape. And that way when you apply your shadow, it won't go outside of that line, it'll give you a really crisp line. Now take a pencil brush like this and some black shadow in the palette. I'm just using this color here. We're going to apply this alongside of the tape. So I'll run this right here along that and we're going to stop about right there because we don't want the line to go out too far. We're also going to smudge this about halfway along the upper lash line. Then pick up some more and we're going to start to feather it in just a little bit right here on the lid. Now take a flat stuff brush like this. We're going to go in with a silver color right here on the end and pat this all over the lid, staying under that crease. Wipe off that same brush really well. I'm going to go in with the color Sin, and it's a nice champagne-y color right here. We're going to put this just on the inner lid just to open up the eyes and make them pop. Now switch to a dome brush like this. We're going to go in with a brownish color and I'm using this one here which is Buck, a nice medium brown. All we're going to do is apply this here in the crease to blend out any harsh lines. Now it's time to peel off the tape, so gently peel that off and what you're left with is a really crisp line. Then you can go back in with that pencil brush we did earlier and some black shadow. We're just going to smudge this along the lower lash line and work your way all the way in. Then to clean up under here, I'm just going to take some concealer, something that's one shade lighter than your skin tone. We're just going to apply this here under the eye and using a soft dome brush like this, we're going to sweep it back and forth and come up here right under that line to clean it up. Now it's time for the eyeliner. I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 in Perversion. We're going to line the upper and lower waterline, so pull up the lashes a bit and run this right up here. Same thing with the lower lashes, you're going to run this right inside the waterline and come all the way into the tear duct. And if you want to darken up the lash line, you can also apply a little bit up here on top of the upper lash line. Then your final step for the eyes is just to apply your mascara. Diana's cheeks and lips are a pretty peach color and to get that youthful glow on her cheeks I'm going to use a cream blush. I'm using Illa Mosca's cream blush in Rude which is a beautiful peach color. Make sure your fingers are clean when you do this. You're just going to smile, take two fingers and pat this to the apples of the cheeks and blend it out. Now if you feel like you applied too much or if it's not blending into your skin really well, you can take a beauty blender egg or some sort of sponge and just kind of tap that in so it looks nice and smooth and natural. Then for the lips, I'm going to apply Max Lipstick and Mask, and it's a beautiful muted pink color. This is a base coat. This is going to mute out your natural lip color, but I don't want something too nude because it can make your lips look like they're ill or something's wrong with them. <laughs> then on top, we're going to apply a beautiful peach lip gloss. I'm using Max Cream Sheen Glass in Richer Lusher, which is a really pretty color. I really like this one. Apply that on top and you get that beautiful peachy lip with a nice glow to it. And that is it for the look. So I hope you guys had fun with that. I really like this look. It kind of has that rocker vibe, but it's still classy and still neutral enough that you could wear it. I would wear this every day, but you know, wear it on a fun night out. So 
Go to makeupgeek.com, you guys. I'll have listed everything that I used as well as some inexpensive alternatives so you don't have to spend big bucks on this look. So check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Be happy and healthy like always, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.